Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, May the 7th. It's year two and it's week five in Easter. And it's week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 64. And 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Alleluia, Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked from the throng of those who do evil. They sharpen their tongues like swords. They aim bitter words like arrows. They shoot at the innocent from ambush, shooting suddenly and recklessly. They scheme their evil course and conspire to lay secret snares. They say, who will see us? Who can search out our crimes? God will search the mind and knows the depths of the heart. God has shot an arrow at them and dealt them sudden wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin, and all who see them mock. Then all the world will feed. They will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds. The just will rejoice in God the Most High, and fly to God for refuge. <clears throat> all upright hearts will glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 13. <clears throat> but we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds, together with them to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gracious God, we pray for your holy church. Fill it with all truth and peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is in error, direct it. <clears throat> Where in anything it is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen it. Where it is in want, provide for it. 
where it is divided, reunited, and all for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. <laughs>